North Korea has fired another seven short-range projectiles off its east coast. Seoul believes this could be in protest to its joint drills with the U.S. The financial magazine Forbes has released its list of the world's richest people. 27 Koreans made the cut. And figure skater Kim Yuna extends her appreciation to her fans and says though she's retired, she'll never leave the ice. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Wednesday, March 5th. I'm Luke Clary. North Korea fired seven short-range projectiles from the East Coast Tuesday using multiple rocket launchers. This follows Scud missile launches on Monday. And the move Seoul believes to be in protest to joint ROK U.S. military drills. North Korea's missile provocation on Tuesday began early in the morning. The North fired off three projectiles using a old model 240 millimeter multiple rocket launcher at around 6 a.m. from Wonsan. They flew about 55 kilometers in the northeast direction of the East Sea. Then past 4 p.m., Pyongyang launched four more using an advanced 300-millimeter launcher from the same region with an increased range of 155 kilometers. The 300-millimeter multiple rocket launcher named KN-09 is believed to have a maximum range of 200 kilometers. Therefore, if fired near the inter-Korean border, the launcher can strike as far as Kerongde, where South Korean military headquarters are based. So far, North Korea has fired 17 projectiles from the east coast from February and 21 while inter-Korean founding unions were underway until Tuesday. South Korean military authorities believe the North provocation are in protest to the South Korea-U.S. military exercise. But launches using the newest rocket launcher may mean the regime is conducting test launches to improve the performance of the launch. South Korea is mobilizing all intelligence assets in cooperation with the U.S. to keep close tabs on additional missile launches and the North Korean military's moves. A KBS poll shows that the Korean public is just about evenly split between supporters and opponents to the main opposition Democratic Party and independent lawmaker An Chol Su's decision to join forces and form a new political party. The results of a recent poll show that 42.1 percent of the public support the decision to found a new political party, while slightly over 43 percent disapprove it. Nearly twice as many respondents in their 20s and 30s approve of the decision as those in their 50s and 60s. By region, nearly 80 percent of residents in the Chola provinces agreed with the decision. More than 60 percent of the residents of Tegu and North Gyeongsam province opposed it. Those who are skeptical about An Su's vision to realize new politics by founding a new party slightly outnumbered those who believed in it. 57.9 percent say they support the Democratic Party and An's decision not to nominate candidates for the June local elections. Their number is double the number of those who oppose it. More than 42 percent of the respondents said they welcomed the decision of the Democratic Party and An Su to hold an equal share in the new party. About 51 percent disagreed with that. When asked which party they would support after the founding of the new party, nearly 43 percent chose the ruling Senate party, while 39.7 percent picked the new party. The approval ratings of the new party were found to be 3.1 percentage points higher than the combined approval ratings of the Democratic Party and ANS camp in the previous KBS survey conducted last month. The approval ratings for the Senate party fell 1.9 percentage points. The poll was conducted by Media Research on behalf of KBS on 1,000 people on March 4th. The results have a margin of error of plus-minus 3.1 percentage points at a 95 percent confidence level. The response rate is 17.5 percent. The Karieski are ethnic Koreans residing in former Soviet Union countries and Central Asia. Many have come back to the homeland of Korea but face a serious language barrier, one they hope to overcome with evening classes. This town in Ansan, Gyeonggi province, is a hub of ethnic Koreans who moved from Central Asia. 
people gather one by one to a basement classroom where Korean is taught. A small room quickly fills up. Extra chairs on the hallway are not enough. While others go to bed at 10:20 p.m., this is the only free time these workers have as they work late into the night. In this tiny cell, where she gets a few hours of sleep after a day's work, she's put up a Korean vocabulary list on the wall to study. They're desperate to learn Korean to survive and work in Korea and live with the native Koreans. Koreans who were forcibly transferred to Central Asia had some 150 years of a nomad life. The language of their mother country yet remains their ethnic root. Fewer married couples in Korea are choosing to have two or more children, with the number of second-born, third-born, and so on on the decline. Students at this elementary school in Sejong City are asked to raise their hands if they have no younger siblings. More than half of the 21 students respond positively. Some 210,000 babies born last year were non-firstborns, which is just half the number recorded 30 years ago. In other words, firstborns outnumber children who have older siblings. The number of non-firstborns has plunged as Korean women get married and have their first babies at an older age. The average age of first-time mothers has increased by more than four years compared to two decades ago, and few women are willing to have second babies. The lack of daycare centers and high financial costs associated with child-rearing hamper families from having two or more children. As a result, Korea's total fertility rate now stands at 1.19 children. It's the lowest level among the OECD member nations, and it indicates that the number of non-firstborns will continue to dwindle in the nation. Beautiful blossoms are blooming on Pungdo Island in the Yellow Sea. Follow us to a haven of wildflowers. A 90-minute boat ride from Incheon takes us to Pungdo Island. The weather is foggy this day. Flowers have bloomed out of the soil and the long, narrow mountain trails of Island Village. Anemones can be only found in Pungdo. The Korean name of the flower that is called pheasant's eye means to wish for longevity and abundant blessings. They are known to even spurt out of the ice and are regarded as a harbinger of spring. The hepatica is also a leading wild plant whose blossom resembles the ear of roe deer, from which it got its Korean name. The spurge also unveils its magnificence from a heap of leaves. Pungdo is truly a wildflower heaven. 1년 동안 조사를 해 보니까 390여 종의 그 식물이 사는 걸로 조사가 되었습니다. 아, 여기에 면적을 생각을 해 보면은 웬만한 국립공원 수준의 Wildflowers begin to blossom from the southern Jeju Island and are now blooming in as north as Gyeonggi Province. They are a gift from Mother Nature sprinkled on the fields following the bitter winter cold. Figure skater Kim Yana has expressed her appreciation to all of her fans, saying that although her sports career has come to an end, she will never leave the ice rink behind. Figure skating has been everything for Kim Yana. As always, her fans welcome her with loud cheers, but she looks more relaxed now. She even jokes about the controversial results in the free skating event of the Sochi Olympics and the gala performance of Olympic champion Adelina Sotnikova. <laughs> Even after so many challenges that she had to take on as a national figure skater, Kim Yona says she will never leave the ice rink. 
지도자를 하든 뭘 하든 비교는 끝까지 놓지는 않고 있을 것 같아요. 네. 그러면 저는 아무것도 모르는 사람이기 때문에. 음. At her fan meeting, Kim Yona had fun with her fans. To them, she will always be the queen of figure skating. Kim Yeonsu, 그동안 너무 감사했고요. 너무 행복했습니다. U.S. financial magazine Forbes has released its list of the world's richest people. 27 Koreans made the list, which includes Microsoft's Bill Gates and Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg. The world's most generous man, Bill Gates, has so far donated more than $28 billion. There's enough wealth in the world to solve these problems. And so whether it's individuals, governments, businesses, as we make them aware, they'll be drawn in. Even with the astronomical donations, Bill Gates is still the world's richest man with a net worth of $76 billion. If he had not made any donations, he would have become the world's first individual with a net worth of more than $100 billion. One, we've been doing this for 28 years, a world billionaire's list. He's been number one 15 of those years. But A lot more women have joined this year's billionaire list. 172 or 10 percent of the Forbes list were women, comprising the largest percentage of wealthy women entrepreneurs in history. Most of the female billionaires were self-made such as Sheryl Sandberg, chief operation officer of Facebook. 27 Koreans were among the billionaires. Samsung Group chairman Lee Gun Yi was named the 102nd richest man and Hyundai Motor Group's Jung Mong Gu was placed 202nd. The combined assets of this year's billionaires have gained $1 trillion from just last year. Americans led the world with the most number of billionaires, followed by Chinese. K-pop girl group 21 has released two music videos along with its new album. North American music reviewers have shown special interest in the new release despite the fact that it's in Korean. Two Anyone's new album and music videos have received rave reviews from the North American media. U.S. online magazine Spin wrote that the group has released a stunning new album in three years, as if to prove that they weren't wasting their time. Billboard also lauded the group by saying that its music has become even bolder. Many other big K-pop names are getting ready to make comeback. Global sensation Psy is wrapping up the recording of his new album and is expected to be back this month. K-pop fans will also be able to see 4 Minute and Infinite next month. Other notable stars to re-emerge in the first half of the year are Sister, EXO, Beast and R&B artist Hui Song. Singer Paul Potts, a former cell phone salesman who shot to stardom on Britain's Got Talent, has visited Korea. He is scheduled to perform Miss Andorma, a song that made him famous, at Times Square in Yongdingpo, Seoul, Wednesday evening. Spring is just around the corner and the bright spring sun will tempt you to go outside. But before going out, make sure you know the best ways to protect your skin from the rays of the sun. Spring and the warm weather will call you outside. However, before planning on spring outings, you'd better be fully prepared for the bright spring sun and its negative effects. The intensity of ultraviolet rays surges in spring. Dark spots on the face are a headache for this woman. She never goes out without makeup on. 제가 천엽 쪽에는 이렇게 스킨 로션도 안 바르고 다닐 정도로 굉장히 센 걸로 다녔거든요. 근데 아이를 낳고 이러다 보니까 기미가 굉장히 많이 생겼어요. Are these dark spots related to women's experience of pregnancy and childbirth? 기미 발생에는 여성 호르몬의 일종인 에스트로겐이 관여하는 것으로 알려져 있습니다. 그래서 출산 후에 그리고 경구 피임약을 복용하는 경우에 흔하고요. 따라서 폐경 후에는 기미가 새로 발생하는 경우는 드물고 원래 있던 기미도 호전되는 경향이 있습니다. 
unlike dark spots, people can have freckles regardless of their age or gender. This woman visits a clinic for her freckled face. 어렸을 때부터 주근깨가 좀 전체적으로 다 있어서 화장을 해서 가려도 좀 어두워 보이고 칙칙해 보이고 고민도 많았거든요. What is the best medical treatment to remove freckles? The laser is used to destroy clusters of concentrated melanin in the skin. It's recommended to stick to two to three rounds of laser treatment every three weeks. Is the skin whitening treatment effective for removing freckles? 백옥 주사나 물감 주사 모두 전체적인 피부톤 개선에는 도움을 줄수 있습니다. 어, 하지만 기미나 주근깨의 근본적인 치료라기보다는 보조 치료에 가까움으로 전문적인 치료와 함께 경합하시는 편이 더 좋겠습니다. It's best to prevent dark spots and freckles before they form, and limiting exposure to the sun is the best way to prevent them. Choosing the right sunscreen product is the first step. Once you choose the right sunscreen, use it the right way. Sunscreen products labeled with SPF 30 or higher are recommendable. To ensure that you get the full SPF protection, you need to apply the recommended amount of about 29 grams. Sunscreen should be reapplied every two hours. Wearing hats also helps shield you from the sunlight. Eating vegetables and fruits which are rich in vitamins, is also effective for preventing dark spots and freckles. Here are some recipes to make face packs with materials available at home. Spinach contains plenty of chlorophyll and vitamin A, so it's good for people with freckles or dark spots. First, blend the vegetable, then mix it with the white of an egg and flour. Tangerines are also a good material to make a face pack at home. Blend the fruit and mix it with milk, honey, and flour. It's good to use the pack up in 20 minutes since tangerines quickly oxidize. How does it feel to have the vitamin C rich pack on your face? 만드는 방법도 굉장히 쉽고 이렇게 바르니까 촉촉하고 그래서 이런 식으로 관리를 하면 좋을 것 같아요. Dark spots and freckles can easily become serious if they go unchecked and untreated. Limiting exposure to sunlight and increasing your intake of vitamins are the best way to prevent skin problems. Now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. That's it for this edition of News Today. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Have a great day.